Hello everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX Let's Play with me, Lifferel. And welcome to Disc 4. Thanks. They were uneasy at first, but I think they'll get along fine. There's no need to thank me. You've done us all a great service. It wasn't a big deal. Well, anyway, everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure it's okay for them to stay here? Of course it is. So, this was Vivi's idea. Yeah. We wanted the genomes to start their new lives here. We're similar in many ways. Maybe we can understand them better, and they might open up to us. Right, he also said, If you guys can get along with the genomes, maybe humans or black mages can live alongside each other someday. Like you and Vivi. I don't even know if I truly understood him until recently. We'll take good care of them. Your friends are our friends. Thanks. Is this a monster? He's a chocobo, not a monster. He's called Bobby Corwen. Oh, you gave him a name. Yeah, Bobby Corwen. Isn't it a great name? Sounds great. Bobby Corwen, eh? I think Bobby Corwen likes you too. He won't bite. Oh, come on. It's just a little baby chocobo. Bobby Corwen. No, come back here. Wow. I think Bobby Corwen really likes our new friend. Can't you just call him by his first name? <laughs> Why do you display these items? Why? For, for the customers, I think. What are customers? Well, we bring money and we hand the money over to the shop and then... What is money? Money is, uh... Why do you care about small things? World, very simple place. World only have two things. Things you can eat, things you know can eat. Does the water here ever stay still? Water flows, doesn't doesn't it? The water of Brown Bow was always still. Hey, do you know that time flows just like water? So water and time both flow in Gaia. Looks like we're off to a good start. Hmm. <laughs> it's like watching kids play. It's not their fault. We've only just begun to live their lives. Can last time be recovered? I don't know. But there's only one thing we can do. Of course. Just protect them from anyone who tries to take their time away from them. Princess, this is really what what you really wish? Hmm? Wait, what are you talking about? Kuja must have done something to the ether tree to cover the world in this. Do you not think it wise to consult Regent Sid before the final battle? Kuja probably plans on destroying Gaia. If I go to Limblum now and tell the Regent about it, it might cause panic. I'm sure everyone is apprehensive about the reappearance of the mist. I need Uncle Sid to protect Limblum right now. Indeed, we must defend the enemy, defeat the enemy on our own. Even if we go back to Limblum to get equipped, please don't tell Uncle Sid about our plans. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. We haven't got a chance. You saw Kuja's power. He destroyed a world by himself. You don't even have a million and one chance of defeating him. You'll all die. Wow, this girl knows lots of difficult wor words, doesn't she? She's a bit cynical, but take good care of her, will ya? Her name is Makoto. She's kind of like my little sister. What? <laughs> Makoto, listen to your big brother and make some friends. Uh, how silly. We might be desperate insects to Kuja, but I'll show you how powerful we can be. Even a fly lives for a day. I don't think that's what Zidane meant. Let's go to the ether tree. We won't let Kuja have his way. So, really big jerk move here. As you can tell, the music has changed. Airship navigation, but we've already been in an airship. And you can see that it is really, really foggy and cloudy. As you can see, the sky now has a funny twinge to it since we came over by here. I'm just going to get the Chocobo, because I would like to head back to Black Maid's village, and I don't want to fight anything. Can I go down here? Yes, I can. Of course I can. Sweet. Okay, so down we go. Hop off. 
and into Black Mage Village we go. Come up in here. Welcome. A couple of things you can buy here: the Wizard Rod. I'll get it because I can't remember what it had. Siren's Flute, just again, I'll get that as well. Actually, I lied a couple of episodes ago because we have five ultimate weapons left to get. Long Reach, okay, so you can go on learning. Auto Reflect. You should have. No, you haven't. Uh, you've learned those. Nothing there for you. Half MP, let's go with that. Okay. Cross Helm. Stick with that. Nothing new there. What can you go on learning now? Uh, do, do, do. How about restore HP? We'll do. Yeah, he's close. Okay. So, this is probably the second best place to get items and equipment. There's Quite a few uh, new things around here. Uh, you can get the Mace Immune, but there's not much point in getting it. Um, I'm gonna wait before I get that. Racer is a really good one. Um, gauntlets, I don't need. Golden Skull Cap, again, is really good for equipment. Circlet, I've got one. Grand Helm. Uh, that is the ultimate helm, I believe. Cross helm, power belt, brave suit. Get one of them. Grand armor. That is the second strongest armor. And then you have these. Or remedy. So I may get all of them up to. Well. I don't know what. Um, so yeah, you have all these here. These are really, really good. Gold skull cap. Let's get one of them as well. Mace immune. You don't need to get. You can get that a different way. Brave suit. Maybe on Amaranth. Right. There's one little secret. I believe I can do it now. Let's give it a go. No. In here and talk to the guy. I think the language of music is universal, don't you agree? Why do the people of Gaia pay special attention to communication through sound? So no, it doesn't work quite yet. I needed another item. There's a secret view you can do there, which I will be showing a little bit later on. And at the moment, there's nothing for us to do quite yet. So... How about we head back to the Invincible? Because there is now a mini quest or side quest that we can now complete. Hop off here. Right. You want to go inside the ship? and come down here. There is a treasure chest on this side. Open up. Pisces. 
yeah, the last piece of the Stelazios were, or was, I should say, on Kudra's airship. Uh, you can depart, or you can change your party members. I believe this is the only way to do it on the Gaia overworld. At least on a permanent basis. It's just sort of trying to probably be a little bit quicker. So, there's Trano to go to, and then there's one more place. So let's just get off by here. And go in. And there's two places I would like to go in Trano. The first one is the Duck Lady. Give her the final Stelazio. Let's see what we get from her. We had Gil last time. And this time we get. Quack, quack, quack. Let me take the reward from my servant. The Robe of Lords. It is the best robe in the game. Something is missing. According to my information, there are 12 Stelazio. Why do I feel like I'm missing one? Because there is one more. Yes, there must be a 13th Stelazio somewhere. My Queen, if I may. The writings on the Stelazio must be the key to solving the mystery. Well, fine. I'll give you all my Stelazio, and you bring me the 13th. Receive the 12 Stelazio. So, the story of 12 zodiacs. The 11 zodiacs pondered how best to catch Virgo's heart. Here he's headed east. Taurus had an idea. He would give Virgo a gift through the forest and over the mountain. He found a star. Gemini fought by the river. I will sing him a song. He didn't know where she was, but he hoped his song would reach her. Cancer headed to the cape where Virgo waited. The sun was set in, into the ocean. Would he finally see her? Leo was waiting for the sun to set in the ocean, and Cancer showed up. They began to fight. Into the ocean, they fell. Watching the sun set from the cape, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you now. Libra was a perverse fellow. He would always walk in the opposite direction of the sun. Would he ever see Virgo? Scorpio was very timid. He always looked at his shadow, until one day he decided to look away and walked up a hill. Sagittarius dashed through the night to find the chilly northern wind that was stinging his right cheek. Impatient Capricorn ran up a hill toward the sun and fell asleep from exhaustion. Aquarius arrived late. He asked everyone, who kissed Virgo? Pisces said to Aquarius, Virgo made his, her choice. Go see him, and he'll tell you the rest. Okay. So, Virgo. Who did Virgo choose? Does anyone have any ideas? Well, there's one more to get. I know where it is. <coughs> it was quite a good guess from my part when I found out where it is. Because basically, I thought it's like the story of a relationship. So the final Stelazio would be in one of the 12 places where you find the other ones. Being able to access all 12 Stelazio throughout the game some of them being in treasure chests, which you couldn't then immediately rule out. I decided to go for the closest ones. Rat tail, fairy earrings, promised ring, 
dark matter. That's what I want. <coughs> How much gold do I have? Yeah, we should be fine. So, what I'm going to do now, I am going to cut until the dark matter, and I will see you guys in just a second. Okay guys, so I am back. The dark matter is now being sold. It's going up pretty quickly. 13-2. One, fourteen, two, seventeen, nine. Any more? Yeah, we'll go eighteen, and we get it. That was a nice one. It's normally a little bit more than that, but I'm happy for the amount we got it for. So, now that we have that, how about we... How much do you have left? 46, there's dark matter. 30, it's not too bad. That is okay. So, how about we leave? What's our time like? 19... So that's about 15. Jump on the airship. <coughs> and we will go to... Quantum Dwelling. Um, I should point out as well, you can land anywhere other than forests on the Invincible. It doesn't have to be on grass like it was on the Hildegard. Land on any terrain as, as long as it's f relatively f well, as long as it's flat. So like no mountains and obviously no forests. So this is the location of the final Stelazio. It's down here. Mm hmm. Something under where the Scorpio used to be. The Scorpio and the Virgo just sparkle in my hands. So, key item. The future was uncertain. The Scorpio and Virgo kissed in the light of dusk, but that moment meant everything. So, bows of a two. That is the end of a Stelazio story. So? I still don't understand how those would help you find which one is which. But... I just guessed. It was quite lucky because the ones you got in treasure chests and the ones you got from like uh, doing certain things, like the sticking the gill in the fountain in Treno. Those ones, uh, I have a feeling to start off with that they would be, like the new one would be in the same place as one of the other ones, and it was just by like default that one happened to be the closest one to where I was, and that was the first one I actually checked. So, no skill, just pure dumb luck. Not that I'm complaining. Though. So, with that we go back up to Mrs. A Duck Lady. Oh, you found the last Lazio. Ophiacus. Give it to me along with the rest of the Stelazio I loaned you. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
10, 11, 12, and 13. Quack, quack, quack. You may take the reward from my servant. And you receive the hammer, which is an item. There it is. Sinner's hammer. That's all it says. I believe you can throw it, but other than that, there is no other use for it. But having that will unlock an alternative ending to the game. I am planning on showing both versions of the ending. So, now that I've completed this side quest, I would like to thank you all very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, a comment down below, and also subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and circle me on Google+. So, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.